So it's Sterling week and I need to shave. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian, coming to you from the shave den again. And it is my second Sterling Week shave, and I need, I need to shave. I need about, I have about two days worth of growth, and I also need to practice with a straight razor. So this, this will be a straight razor shave. So for this shave, I'm gonna be using a soap that was made by Sterling for an organization called R4L, or Res Responders for Life. So. Through South Florida Waste Shavers and Sterling, they made this soap to raise money for this organization which, which helps the fallen families of first responders or any first responders that, that need help, their families need help. So anyway, this is a cool soap, one of my favorite soaps from Sterling that I love to use. And this will be my, for, for my Sterling shave, my Sterling Week shave. And also, I'm going to be doing a straight razor shave because I need more practice. I really need to do more straight razor shaves and practice more. And I'm gonna be using my Wade and Butcher special razor right here. So a vintage razor. I'm not sure how old it is, but how old this is, but definitely an older uh, vintage straight razor. And a little bit on the smaller side, but man, this thing is sharp and ready to go. And last time I shaved with this, got a damn fine shave. So anyway, this will be for the shave. And since we're doing Sterling Week, I'm gonna be using another Sterling brush. So this is one of my, my favorite bore brush of anybody. This is the Sterling Bore. So this brush is amazing. I wanna say 26 millimeter, I could be wrong, maybe 24, 26 millimeter bore. But man, this thing's broken into. I got this broken into, very soft. It's got the nice split ends, great backbone. This is probably one of the best bore knots I have ever used. And I use Samogues, I use Omegas. And this pretty much tops them all, in my opinion. So, hey guys, let me wash my face. I got some sun today, too. Look at this. Look at the little sunburn there. So, wash my face. My face fully hydrated. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. My first pass, my first face other. I used the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Cube, the 2.0. Got, got the uh, menthol going right now, so that's why I'm blinking right now, because the menthol vapors are coming up to my eyes. And it feels really nice with this summer on my face. So anyway guys, got the brush soaked and ready and loaded up with the soap from uh, Sterling. And that's going to be the R4L, which is a really, really nice scent. I just love this scent. Oh man, it smells so good. So this will be my soap of the uh, shave in honor of Sterling Week. And I'm going to be loading my face up right now. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is Friday, so I'll probably won't get this video lit up until tomorrow. Or maybe tonight, depends on what time I get this edited. But anyway guys, definitely ready for a shave. Sometimes I take a day off from shaving, especially at work because I wear a mask at work all day long, because I work in healthcare. So you can't really see the hair on my face, so I can get away with a shave, uh, you know, for a day or two. And that's exactly what I did. Anyway, nice lather, as always, from Sterling. Yeah, look at that nice lather right there. All right. So, straight razor shave. I'm gonna be using that Wade and Butcher special razor, and I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, from the early part of, you know, the, the 1900s. I think. Of, I, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. I, I mean, I haven't looked it up in a while, but I know on my last shave I did with this razor that I actually looked up the the date and and narrowed it down pretty much to when this was, when this was made, but. Pretty nice razor, a little bit on the smaller side, but it's 
definitely a nice shaver. And I think it's 11 16 if I'm not mistaken. And it's got the original scales on there too, which says the word special right there. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and do that first pass. And I just dropped this about 50 times to get it nice and sharp. It's already sharp, but I like to drop my razors before I do a shave and afterwards too. Alright. Hope you guys are doing well. Ready for the weekend for sure. So I definitely need more practice. I've been using my safety razors and my single blade razors for like the last week or so, or last two, two weeks. I don't want to forget, don't want to lose any progress from using one of these, one of these things here. Definitely take out, take it off the hair really nicely. I think when you strop it, really does a good, <clears throat> does wonders on the, on keeping the blade sharp, but also on getting your razor ready for a shave. All right, there might be some blood on this shave because it's been a while, but. But that's why you practice though. That's why you do these. Treasure the shaves and practice. A little bit of a hair there from my, from my brush, which is rare. Not too bad for one side. Let me do that side here. Switch hands. So it's been really cool to see all the the Sterling shaves this week from all the different wet shavers and definitely a, a great artisan to support and I'm just so happy to see the uh, support from the wet shaving community on Sterling. Oh yeah, I got a nice little cut right there. So anyway guys, I just love the shave of the days. I've been seeing all the videos. All the different scents that people enjoy from Sterling. Pretty cool. Got my hand a little bit slick, so I gotta be careful here. Yeah, this razor is super sharp, so. All right, let me go ahead and do that. Get my hands full, free of the soap here, which makes it slick. And yeah, definitely got a little cut right there.
Yeah, I always cut myself right in the chin, right here or right here with a straight razor. All right. Other than the little, the little weeper right there, very, very nice. Nice first pass. I probably only had to do two passes with with this with this uh, special by Wayne Butcher, man. And the soap is plenty, plenty slick, so definitely have a nice combination right here going. But anyway, guys, let me rinse my face, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my second pass here, and go ahead and do my second face out of there. So about the soap, this R for L actually is is a uh, dupe or recreation of the Tom Ford Grey Vetiver scent. So that's what it smells like. If you know the Cologne Grey Vetiver, this is what the soap smells like. Nice vetiver, nice and clean, masculine scent. Yeah, not really heavy vetiver. That's, that would be like Porter Prince. Now that is a heavy vetiver soap. So definitely, this is a much more nicer version of that, of a, of a, of a Vetiver scent. And I love this scent much better than the Porter Prince. I mean, there's some soaps that I, don't, that I don't care for, some of the scents from Sterling, but man, a lot, of, I would say, more than not, I love the scents from most of their soaps. But anyway, second pass with the uh, Wade and Butcher Special. And this stuff is awesome, by the way. Smells really nice. It's probably a scent strength of about, I would say probably about eight. It's pretty strong. And the bathroom just permeates, so it smells like Tom Ford's grade vetiver. So definitely a nice scent. All right guys, let me go ahead and do this against the, let me see, I'm gonna go across the grain. Or actually, I'm gonna go, yeah, money pass. Yeah, sometimes I go across the grain and then do the money pass, which is against the grain, but but I'm getting a good shave with this Raider, so I think I probably just need to do just, just two passes. Yeah, this is very sharp. Nice hone job. I just recently picked up some stones, some Shafton stones, to start doing my own honing, so. But this is honed by someone else. This is honed by the person I bought this from on eBay, so. I don't want to get too close and get another nick right here, so just trying to play it safe. All right, let's go ahead and do this side here. So this soap came out <clears throat> I want to say toward the end of, there should be a date on here, but definitely came out toward the end of 2019, I believe. And like I said, was raised, was made to raise money for Responders for Life. And I did a video on that, on that meetup where they presented a check to this organization. And I'll try to put a clip up there of the uh, amount and the, 
the event, which was pretty cool. Benjamin Siegel, James Bonnies, you guys are awesome. I mean, we, we, it's, it's amazing how many customers we've got to meet that we've known via email and orders for years. This right here has surpassed anything. Oh. I was telling them earlier, we had, in the time period since we released this, we've sold more of this set than any other product on Serving yeah. Set. Awesome! Yeah. Responders for life. When, when this thing got started, I, I wasn't totally sure I was on board. I was I was on board with doing something because it's and aside from being good publicity for, for us, it's good publicity for wet shaving. It's a good cause, but you know, I wanted you know, and Brian can attest to this. I wanted to do something that would actually be affecting someone local and actually have a positive impact from someone that we could actually reach out and shake their hand say we're happy that you guys do what you do yeah but anyway pretty cool cool pretty cool way to raise money for a lot worthwhile organization especially our first responders that put their lives online for many of us out there you know, they don't even know the people that they're many times running to to save or help. And what better way to help them out? All right. Probably need a little more water on this lather. It's starting to get, starting to get a little bit pasty. So let me go ahead and put some water right here. Yeah, just a little bit more. That's where you start cutting yourself when your leather doesn't isn't quite slick enough, especially with a straight razor. Yeah, definitely a definitely an improvement with the water there. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go across this way, actually, right. Right. Nice pass so far? Yeah. I'll probably do a touch-up pass right on the side with the uh, going with, you know, going across the green. But that should be it. It's a good good shave so far. So let me go ahead and do that rest my, rest my face. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for the final pass or the touch-up pass here. Let me put a little bit more water on that face here. Make it nice and slick. Yeah, that's better. So watching other people's videos that are getting the straight razor shaving, Melly Mel's doing a pretty good job of his straight razor shaving. So pretty cool to see some new straight razor shavers coming out and trying it out. But definitely a learning curve. You have to really practice in doing this. And I probably should do more practicing with my straight razor, razor shaves. I mean, I usually practice off camera, but this is probably the first one I picked, first time I picked one up in probably two weeks. 
All right, guys, let me go against the grain right here. Going across the grain, sorry. Yeah, pretty slick and as pretty smooth as it is. So not really much hair coming off, but my hair grows this way, so I'm gonna go across, going down my chin line. Let's take the water. Take this ladder off first. Oh yeah, very, very smooth. All right, so I make sure I cut my ears, <laughs> my ears off. So I'm gonna be going straight back. That's where my hair, my hair grows, kind of weird, kind of grows this way. So I'm finding out how my hair grows just by doing strippers or shaves or what direction it, it, it grows. Pretty nice. You put a little bit more lather right there along the jawline. Very, very nice. All right, let me go across the grain right here on my chin line, and that should be, that should be it. One more time down this way. I think that's it. Nice shave. Very smooth. All right, guys, let's rinse my face and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for the post shave. So I'll be using the R4L aftershave splash, the Sterling. Limited edition that came with the soap. Let me go ahead and shake this up and get this going. Wow, nice, fantastic scent. If you like Tom Ford gray vinegar, you'll love this because it is exactly spot on the scent of that cologne. I don't have the cologne, but I, I've smelled it before at Macy's and Nordstrom's. And definitely, definitely a close match to this. But anyway, guys, that's my shave. So I use this and the soap, R4L. Great soap. Came out in 2019. And I believe a lot of people had it. A lot of people got this from Southwood Wet Shaver's website. And I believe, I believe Sterling even had it on their website for a little while. So if you guys got this, great, great pickup because this, this is an excellent soap. And I used the Sterling bore brush and this is an excellent value I can't say much I can't say enough about this brush I want to say this is around ten dollars on our website and it's really it's honestly the best bore that I've I, I probably ever used and I've used the Samoke 1305 I used a lot of you know 
you know, reputable bores, and this is really the best bore I've used. It's qual it's definitely broken into quality brush, nice ergonomics on the handle. I love the way it, way it feels in my hand. Just a great handle. Not a not a really flashy handle, but man, just works the way it grabs I can grab and lather a soap up you know from the uh, from the container, but damn. But really, really nice brush. And last but not least, I used the Wayne and Butcher Special Straight Razor, Vintage Razor, great shaver, got a decent shave, and like I said, no problem taking off two days worth of growth. And I'm gonna start using my straights probably more often off camera just to get more used to it since I got a few nicks and I don't like to get nicks. The less nicks I get, the better I'm getting at this. So, but anyway, guys, and one thing about these straights is I'm finding out this is that you really have to dry them off really good when you store them, especially inside here. You know, with a I take a piece of tissue and put it down here and dry it off. I think one of my straights I had before I didn't do that and I got a little bit of corrosion right along the, you know, the actual blade itself. So I learned my lesson, and I've been trying to keep these things dry as much as much as possible. And even using a little bit of mineral oil in between shaves to store it. So let me know if you guys do that for your straight razors if you store them with uh, using a thin film of mineral oil to keep them from getting any kind of corrosion or moisture. But pretty good uh, method I've been doing with that. And I got that from another wet shaver that, that told me that's a good, a good thing to do to keep these dry. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys enjoy your shaves. And I will see you guys later. Take care.